Hey, I am finally back in a, a new World of War Custom Zombies map. The last bastion of Sibeli in Berlin, Germany, 1944. Beware of the undead. Alright, yeah, that's, that is the time frame that World of War is based in. World War II. Yeah, Berlin Hotel. This is the first time that I played a World of War Custom Zombies map this year, actually, so... Yeah. I guess welcome 2022, or welcome World of War to this new year. My points are yellow instead of white. And I got BL3 perk symbols with the Black Ops 1. Uh, it said there were Black Ops 1 guns on this map and Black Ops 1 perks as well. So of course that the uh, animation comes with them as well. Well alrighty then, let's start exploring this map and see what we find. Uh, Huygen Obergen Uno Remi. Bout. Thanks poster. I now learn to speak German. Ooh, that looks like a poster as well. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I'll I'll do exactly what, what it says. I'll be careful what I say. Because apparently somebody's eavesdropping. Oh, we can... Oh, finally, we're outside. All right. Well, it's in like the middle of this gigantic... As I mean, it's a hotel, but it kind of looks like an asylum based on... Well, this and just kind of the layout. Oh, speed call is right here. How did I not see that? I was right next to it. Hmm, there, there seems to be something wrong with my arm, guys. It's like... Wait, hold on. Something's wrong with my arm. What's wrong with this? You guys seeing this? Look at this. When I run, it's like that. It's my... What's... Does my arm have two elbows or, or something? What's going on with my arm? You guys are seeing that, right? My arm has like two elbows. Look at this. What's happening right now? I'm very confused. So I decided to go this way now, and apparently there is a kitchen, I guess. I don't know if either way you go, you're going to eventually get to the power or not. Maybe. Oh, we got Deadshot. Okay. I don't know how many Black Ops 1 perks there are, but maybe it's all of them when he... And the map here said buckets one perks he she we you who what where when why when why how didn't specify what that meant by all the black ops one perks oh my goodness we're on the roof now huh okay well there's the gigantic moon holy crap that's huge and power huh oh yeah, I, I forgot. There's there's doors that open when you turn the power on. So now, seems like we're in the pool area, and we got the best, well, my favorite perk we got. Oh, and we got, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Wait, hold on a second. Don't hit me yet. I don't. I said, jeez, dog. Is there a problem with saying don't hit me yet? Jeez. All right. This is gonna give me more points if you dogs just chill the heck out for. One spicy moment. Where did that last one spawn? I know you're here. And that's not the what at war point. That looks like the. That probably is the Black Ops 3 symbol as well. Where's the dog? Hello? Alright, let's go see what's in this little area here that was right outside. Well, that's a pretty good buy. A thousand points and I get pack punch just like that? That's pretty good. Okay, no no wonder why you had to buy where else am I? Oh, and there and it also unlocks the end game. Fifty thousand. Got it. Oh my goodness. And there's a theater too? Why is this kind of oh it's an actual theater though. It's kind of like Kinoder Toten. Like here's the theater. And then there is one other place. Where did this theater just take me? Okay, dead shot. So I'm close to what I was just talking about. There is... Uh, no, maybe I'm super lost, actually. Over here, right here. This area kind of looks like the starting room of Kino right here. As then there's the box location right here. See, look, it's a very similar layout to the starting room. There we go. Now we know that this map does not have a perk limit. It is officially official. Actually, I don't know that. It just doesn't have a four perk limit, I should say. 
Doesn't mean it could have like a five perk limit. Oh my god, that PHD flopper logo is really cool. Yeah, because since PHD flopper isn't in Black Ops 3, is it? Is it in, I wonder, is it in Origins though? I don't actually remember. Like, you might be able to get it from the Wonder Fizz. Yeah, so it actually might be in Black Ops 3, I just can't remember. Also with the Electric Cherry, I know that's also in Black Ops 3, but only in like, the Origins Wonder Fizz. I can't remember, it's been so long since I've seen gameplay of this maps and, and played them. Oh, I didn't even realize the PPSH is right here. I didn't even realize that's right there. Wow. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Oh, really? I went down. Got such a hard area to, tr to actually train in. I don't know why I'm training in this area, but I just am for some reason. Oh boy. No, I just lost everything. That sucks so much. <laughs> I feel less complied to actually reach the end of the map now. Because now I have to do all this again. Get all my stuff. Okay, I think I decided I, instead of, you know, just trying to get to 50,000 points, that would probably take like at least, a, at a very minimum, another half an hour to get to if I'm gonna like buy all my stuff back and actually survive. So let's, let's just look through all the guns. So here we got the AUG and the AUG sum. And then also it comes with this shotgun attachment, I guess. I, I don't, it probably did come with the shotgun back in Black Ops 1, that atta that mini shotgun attachment you can, you had in multiplayer back then and also zombies. Here's the commando, which turns into the predator. The famas, I used to call it the famous, when I was super young, and it's the famas actually. Which gets into the G G16 GL35. Very not sure about that one. The FN fail or the fail, as many call it, and then the WN or the win, is I guess it's supposed to be. The Galil, the lamentation. Don't know if that's like an actual word, but it probably is, wouldn't be surprised. M16 skull crusher should be, yep, fully automatic. And then. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, I'm going to have to come back to that. AK-74U. Yep, sounds just like it actually. FU-2, get it? FU-2. The MP-115 Collider. MPL, oh boy. This is the point gun. That it's really good for getting points. Just remember that. PM-63. And then the Tokyo and Rose. I love- oh! The HS-10. I can't wait to actually find that. Oh, wait. Oh, here it goes. Spaz. I'm like, what? No, that's not all the Black Ops 1 guns. What are you talking about? And then here's Spaz-24. Okay, my, it's not really working my trigger finger. Oh, these are the good ones. Here we go. Typhoid and Mary. Dual-wheeled shotguns. This is the only time in Zombies ever where there are dual-wheeled shotguns. And it's really cool. There's probably, I'm not sure, multiplayer or any other Cody game. I mean, I'd like to say I, there's another game, COD game with dual shotguns, but I can't tell. I'm really unsure. Okay, Olympia. Why is it all the way on the ground? Oh, it's because I was shooting that other one, and it was, yeah. Anyway, any other, is that one of that other guns? Oh, no, but I was using the HK. The, HK-21 before you probably saw on this would have been upgraded. RPK, yeah. I forgot that was in Black Ops 1. I, w I was thinking Black Ops 2, but yeah. Okay, now is that everything? I th think so. Oh, nope. Almost forgot the Thunder Gun. And then the Zeus Cannon, pretty cool. Of course, the only difference is that you get more ammo. Otherwise, it's, ex it's exactly the same when you pack a punch it. Okay, yeah, I think that's everything now. Nope, never mind. There's the dragon arm. Very crappy pack a punch. Uh, unpack punch and then pack a punch. Much better. Of course, remember, I'm using all these guns with double tap too. So I mean, double the damage pretty much. So, gotta remember that. Alright. Yep. This is the War at War MP40. It would have been cool if you took the War at War guns and upgraded them to Black Ops 1 versions. For all the guns that were in Black Ops 1 that were also in World of War. Okay, now this 
No, that's not what I wanted. It was this one. Oh, yeah, there we go. This is the fun one. Just... That's exactly what you want to see. Alright, let's get this Bible ending and get the heck out of here. 50,000... For some reason, it, it's, it's not letting me. Hello? Am I not allowed to end this game? I do have the required amount of points. Although, I might have gotten it with some cheats, but... That's not the point. The point is, you're supposed to let me go. Okay, well, I guess that end game is not working. So, I'm just going to give you a full view of the full map. So, this is the playable area right here. The hotel, as it's called. And the little outside area as well. Yeah, you, you cannot go in here. This is only for spawning zombies. As you can tell, there's nothing in here. Over here is the area where Pack-a-Punch is. Over here is like just across the street here. They actually got map creator actually put cars in here. Pretty good, pretty good. Nice attention to detail. Absolutely nothing back here because there's nothing you could see back here other than some floating stuff to make it look like. Oh yeah, it's on top of the buildings even though there's nothing actually back there. And we got a floating water tower. Can I actually stand on this? Oh, um. All right, here I am. I did not realize. I thought I was gonna be falling like forever. No, look at that. My bouncy betters are in the absolute epitome of nothingness. Can I shoot you from here? Maybe shoot through the four bullets? No, really. I really can't do that, huh? Oh well. Anyway, any suggestions for anything comp below it can be what are more maps, could be Minecraft, can even be Roblox for, you know, whatever reason. Just comment below whatever your, your thoughts are. Subscribe, please.